Hey guys, back to do another review on the Lowe's Receipt masks that I had gotten in my Ipsy last month. I've only used the Ella one. I have not used the, I think it's Acai Berry. I haven't used that one yet. And the lighting went weird because I was holding up the mask. There we go. Overall, I did like this. Uh, it, my, my face shape doesn't fit the cloth that well, unfortunately, but it was, it was like that with the previous ones that I had, so it was nothing against this specific one. It was a very cooling mask, and the day I had used it, it had been extremely windy, so I was like, bubbled up with it on because I was kind of cold. Um, the solution or serum that was on it did sink in really well. It left my face feeling hydrated without it feeling sticky or like my face didn't feel slippery or anything. It just felt nice and hydrated without being overdone, type thing. Um, I do feel that there is definitely a lot of solution on these masks. This one, like the previous Sally's Box masks I reviewed, you pull them out and the solution is pretty much everywhere to the point that it was going I like put it down my neck so that my neck could get some of it too I do plan on trying the acai one either today or tomorrow and I will put my thoughts about it in the description when I do try the mask so that you guys can know my thoughts on it. This one says it's for moisturizing and smoothing and I do feel like it did moisturize my face. Smoothing maybe a little but I had scrubbed my face with a cleanser so that this could fully sink in beforehand so I don't know about the smoothing part but it definitely moisturized my face and enough that I would keep using this brand because I do like this brand of masks over say like the CVS brand or something hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini review if you have a question about these masks that I didn't answer Feel free to ask me down below and I will get back to you and I will talk to you guys on another video another time. Bye guys.